Hey guys, and welcome to the Jurassic Van, I guess. I'm literally just sitting out here watching YouTube. I'm in the Ulta parking lot. My sisters are in there. They're about to go do some Christmas shopping and so forth. I got off work like almost two hours ago. Still got a full week to go, so there's that. Hold on. Someone walks up and now my mom just pulled up. So there goes that video. All right, so they're done. Um... Uh, so, sorry I didn't post any videos yesterday. I was just really tired. I had to work and do a full, near full shift on Saturday. So, I was exhausted that night. Went to everywhere, the mall and so forth with my sister doing some Christmas shopping. I did all my Christmas shopping online. I'm not saying... Great little battery, so now i got to edit this together. So, it's that. But, uh, yeah, I did that. I was exhausted. And then yesterday... My sister's boyfriend surprised us and he proposed to my sister, so now they're engaged. So there's that. Uh, and then we had to drive all the way to the mall to get it, the ring resized and all that, and even though they were closed for some reason at 6 o'clock, so it was a whole waste of a trip. So anyway, yesterday we did get footage of uh, from the Brazil Comic Con, I'm not the CC, whatever it is called. And I did post a little bit of the video. Y'all may have seen it, it got like 300 views in the first little over 30 minutes it was up and then got copyright striked which is kind of odd and you know mr h's video i watched it in full it literally got struck his video got struck as soon as i was watching it so i watched the full thing before i you know clicked it off and it'd be gone forever i was surprised that warner bros struck the videos of copyright claiming them because anytime i've ever done anything with regards to that those kinds of videos you know leaked and whatnot and I've never really done anything leaked. I've always reacted to it, reacted to it or did something with it uh, off the cuff or whatever, like the original Vinny War trailer from Comic-Con and whatever. Uh, the only other video I've done that was leaked that I put on my channel was the Venom teaser from, I think, Comic-Con. That was Brazil Comic-Con, actually, too. Uh, so that didn't get claimed either. But that then again, back then, they, they released like the trailer like not even a few days after so everyone could see it. But with Kong, uh, they struck so many people, apparently. Just not even the videos, but pictures. Even though it was like three seconds of uh, footage. Even though I edited it and so forth. But I guess it makes sense because it's not official. I just thought it was strange that they struck everyone instead of claiming it. Because it feels like it would have affected everyone more harshly than I think. But that's just my opinion. And I've still got my streaming available. And I've still got my... i got to raise up a little bit streaming available and I can still post videos over 15 minutes so there's that I don't really I gotta cover my logo uh let's see anyway we can discuss the trailer a little bit or the the spot it was basically just a compilation of different things from Warner Bros showing off different movies the only ones I remember are Wonder Woman 84 I, I gotta react to that also and Scoob I remember Scoob actually looks pretty fun uh, and a couple other movies. I know Joker was in there. Of course, Joker's going to be mixed in there a lot when it was. Because, of course, that's the, the highest grossing radar film ever. Uh, not even that. It just broke some major records. And even beating films like Aladdin uh, in box office take, which is incredible. But, uh, yeah. And, of course, we get that three seconds footage of Kong fighting Godzilla, which was awesome. I thought it was cool, because I guess in the way I interpreted everything, I only knew a little bit of the original leak trailer from that Russian expo or whatever. Uh, and I like the idea from the Russian expo, what they said, it had like the different quotes from the different monsters movies leading up to. The only thing I didn't like, and they said Alexander Skarsgård was a villain, uh, although I think he said he, he is a hero, maybe he's sort of an anti-hero in the movie, which I wouldn't be bad. Uh, and of course it said that, on like an air ca aircraft carrier, the pun Kong punches Godzilla, and Godzilla basically doesn't even flinch, and then knocks out Kong flat. So there, uh, there's that. And that was all from there. The only thing I didn't like about the leak trailer was that they're bringing back K Ghidorah. And the thing is with Ghidorah, I like it, but I don't like it at the same time. It's like Ghidorah was really awesome in King of the Monsters, and I feel like. It would be interesting for this movie, but at the same time, it's like, it's kind of a retread of a, a, the same villain. You know what I mean? It's not like Thanos, where Thanos was different from Infinity War to Endgame. 
And there were stakes in the reason why Thanos was a villain again, because he won the first time. G uh, Ghidorah lost the first time, so what's the point in having him come in to lose again? So, you know what I mean? Even though I like the idea of what they said, like he's in chains, he's in like an, a rundown city in, in the mountains somewhere with like an aura of lightning around him. I always thought if you brought back Ghidorah, either do Mecha King Ghidorah, I d don't bring Ghidorah back the way he was. You gotta make him a little bit different. Because this is the head, don't forget, this is not the same, technically the same Ghidorah that's at the end of the King of the Monsters, which gets obliterated by Godzilla. I would have had it to where it's Ghidorah's head, but because his head was left, because that head got ripped off, uh, I forgot the, the Isle de Diablo, whatever, but it was left there where the, the, the oxygen destroyer went off. Like the oxygen destroyer would have mutated his head or something, do something like that in Superman, and becomes he becomes something else, maybe Biollante or something akin to that, like maybe a destroyer esque monster. Like he becomes something else other than Ghidorah, instead of just regrowing everything and becoming Ghidorah again. You know what I mean? Like he mutates from the oxygen destroyer. So that way you can incorporate the versions of a Destroyer and Ghidorah and make it into a new way for the MonsterVerse. But I don't really know. It's like I can picture it being cool to bring Ghidorah back. Having, you know, like the different monsters maybe fight him. Like Rodan come in again and uh, bring back Mo maybe Mothra. I don't know. Kong, definitely. I can see Kong throwing down against Ghidorah a little bit. But then again, I would rather, much rather have a different villain monster. For Godzilla and Kong to fight, because inevitably they're gonna break off the fight and uh, they're gonna fight something else. I would have rather had it something be like Biolante or something like that, a Biolante esque monster, because uh, I don't really know what you can do uh, in terms of monsters. You're already done Ghidorah. You really the only thing bigger you can do than Ghidorah is something like Mecha Godzilla or a Mecha monster from the Toho series, or something like Destroya. Since Destroy was like the big, big bad. Uh, so I really don't know about the Ghidorah coming in. But of course, let's go back to the actual footage we saw. Um, it, it's not much. It's Kong rearing back, roaring real quick. And I like, I saw a little bit of his face. A little bit of the beard. You can't really see too much. I saw mostly of his chest was all I could really see from the grainy footage that we got. He rears back, he roars. and he, You see just a quick glimpse of him like jumping looping forward and falcon punching godzilla and it cuts off from there we don't get to see like if the russian trailer was to be believed that you know godzilla barely flinches and he knocks back kong across the aircraft carrier now there's two things and i liked it i like you know a lot of people complain that the monster verse is really dark i think it looks good because of the cinematic look i do think though that we need a better mixture of the dark scenes and scenes that are more light and in the day not fully light in the day, like, you know, Pacific Rim Uprising, even though I haven't seen that film yet, I need to see it. But like King Kong, like, or like Kong Skull Island, Kong Skull Island had a good mixture of stuff that happens in the day, playing around with the lighting of Skull Island, like make the oranges color, the sunset color, the Apocalypse Now feel. Um... But those kinds of colors, so it, it's in the day, but it's play around with to where the CGI isn't, it doesn't get tiring, you know what I mean? And of course the ending battle is in uh, the full, like a misty, foggy day, so it looked really nice. We need some of that in a Godzilla movie. The only scene I can really think of that we got that was in like the scene where Godzilla comes out of the ocean and the male Muto comes down from the sky and... Uh, they start fighting together uh, and all that. That's really all I can think of to, with impact of that scene. Uh, but, but they really do need to have a better mixture of the dark and the light sides for these scenes. Because like King of the Monsters was primarily in the dark. Like primarily at night or primarily within like the blanket of a storm from Ghidorah. So we need a better mixture of light and dark scenes in Godzilla vs. Kong. And as for the, uh, you know, people have been complaining, Kong is, uh, let's see, in regards to size, 
I don't think he's as big as Godzilla. A lot of people think he is. I think it's just a play on the lighting or, you know, the look of the film. It's so grainy, it's hard to tell. I think he's going to be a bit smaller than Godzilla. I don't, because I didn't have the thought on. To me, he didn't look bigger than Godzilla, like people are saying. I think he is just a little, like, below Godzilla's chin, which is what I expected. I didn't expect him to be, like, half the size of Godzilla or whatever, which could have been interesting. He was going to nearly rival in size. And to me, he kind of looks more in scale with the the Toho King Kong to Godzilla. He looks very in line with that, to where Kong kind of comes beneath Godzilla's chin, something like that. So he's got that. <clears throat> and then he's also kind of taking a bigger leap, so it kind of adds to the height, and he could be, like further out while Godzilla's further in, you know, in the scene. So it has that kind of optical illusion. Um, and, you know, some people were complaining. So I don't think his size is a problem. I don't think Godzilla's size is a problem. Uh, they said, some people were saying that there's no way Godzilla would, or a, a Kong would get so big in such a short amount of time. And like uh, Mr. H was talking about earlier when he re-uploaded a video. And I wanted to quickly explain this. I don't think... I think uh, everyone is right to think that, but it's saying, let me explain it to you. In the scope of the MonsterVerse, Kong is, is just about over 80 to 100 years old. Just going off of this scale that I've determined. Uh, so, okay, so in the 70s, he's over 100 feet tall. Okay, so his next appearance is in the 90s in the Birth of Skull Island comic. He's a little over 200 feet tall. In Skull Island... He was, you know, parkouring off the mountains and all that in the in the graphic comic. He's nearly the size of those mountains. He's li he's over a hundred feet taller. So he's about two hundred feet tall in that. So he's grown in about twenty years over a hundred feet taller. And then fast forward from the nineties up into twenty years later in the two thousands, he's again over a hundred feet taller. He's rivaling Godzilla size over three hundred feet tall. So my, and of course we're going to get a graphic novel or something I believe in the way soon, which is supposed to have him fighting Kamazots, that giant bat monster. So the way that I can think of within the scale of the MonsterVerse, his species has a growth spurt or growth rate of about 100 feet other, every 20 years. So about every 10 years he grows another 50 feet. That's just looking at the times in which his appearances are in the MonsterVerse with his size. So I think that kind of fits in line with his growth rate. And it also explains that his parents were young. The, uh, they were not... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, throat's getting dry. I'm talking too much. But uh, his, his parents were not fully grown. They were a little over 100 feet tall, meaning they were about maybe 40 years old, something like that, within that range. I think... Because uh, Kong... To be over 100 feet tall, he's got to be at least 20 years old. I would think a little, a little around 30 to 20 years old in the 70s. He's got to be about that old to be that big. That's in regards to his growth rate over the MonsterVerse, from what I've speculated. So he's he's a little over 80 to 100 years old at the time of Godzilla vs. Kong. He's about 20 years old in... Uh, Kong Skull Island, and he's about 80 to 100 in King of the Monster, or uh, Godzilla vs. Kong. Did I just say that twice? But anyway, that's how I kind of explain Kong's size. And I think it's pretty interesting, because, you know, he's still growing, and they mentioned that. There was some guy commenting on Me Strange's video, like, when do they ever mention that? And, like, he never heard the Hank, uh, Hank Marlowe said that in the movie. He actually questioned that. He's still growing. He's never been that size ever before. The, the the dumbest thing I've ever heard in any, like, comment section before. And I've heard some dumb crap. But, uh, yeah. He kind of... The size and everything reminds me of the Toho versions of King Kong and Godzilla. By the way, also, his look, in a way, kind of reminded me... I guess it was too dark to really tell too much. kind of reminded me of the 70s Kong for some reason. Which I think is cool. So, there you go. That's in regards to his size. I believe that he's growing... A little over a hundred feet every 20 years so there's that um i wonder how what he eats to get that big i mean it must be like a huge abundance of skull crawlers and mire squid on skull island and uh let's see what else was there 
uh, the uh, mother long legs and all that. But uh, let's see. Second thing is people are complaining that the, air the aircraft carrier cannot support their weight. Okay, here's the thing. Either one of two things. That is a new, a new vehicle similar to the Argo in King of the Monsters. Uh, that can support their massive weight, which makes sense. They would create a, something like that. You know, the Argo is supposed to be something that could be uh, flown everywhere. It's a massive ship, uh, which makes sense. And it's faster than some of the monsters like Rodan and even Ghidorah. You know, it barely was uh, speeding away from Ghidorah in King of the Monsters. So it's a very advanced ship for what they need to handle these monsters. So it makes sense that considering... In the MonsterVerse lore, a lot of the things that are living in the oceans are way bigger than, you know, Rodan or Ghidorah. You know, the, I think Leviathan. The Leviathan is supposed to be also the Loch Ness Monster, I believe. There's also different sea dragons and so forth. You know, Scylla uh, and all of that. She's technically aquatic to a point. You know, Godzilla himself. It makes sense that they'd make a, a bigger vehicle to... Um, be in the ocean i guess that would be my way of explaining it that's a different it's a monarch essentially a monarch ship which i think would be a cool idea i think that'd be really interesting like hey we got to take down these months we got to restrain these monsters or whatever we got to get to point a to point b we got to go under the ocean we got to go above the whatever helicarrier for the monsterverse that's essentially what i'm saying that's theory one as to why Godzilla and kong are fighting on it i don't know uh, second idea is that it's uh, it's a grounded ship, that it's on the shore, which makes sense because it's not moving at all while they're on it. And it's grainy footage, so we can't see like the ocean or whatever is being impacted by their size and weight. And I think that was kind of explained in the Russian trailer as well, that it could be a grounded ship. Because I think they said it was a grounded ship, and then they start fighting on it. So that makes sense also that uh it wouldn't move as much or whatever so i heard a lot of people complaining about that like a lot of people were not like using their imagination like creatures this size wouldn't even support their massive weight anyway so why are we getting so fanatical about this so anyway i think this is all i can do to explain that footage we don't have anything else and to me personally i think it was a bad idea to put that footage in there we're still over less than a year till the official movie come the, the movie comes out and we're at least three to four months away from a teaser alone i doubt they're even gonna release something within the next two months which is crazy uh maybe something there's gonna be something to latch on to birds of prey i think birds of prey you think comes on what uh february or march i think we'll at least get something for that like a teaser for birds of prey but that's about it uh, it's, it's a ways off that we're going to get anything like, uh, an official trailer and all that. And we're going to get an official trailer before San Diego Comic-Con. Official trailer, I think, is going to come in at least four months. So there's that. I don't think they're going to start the, uh, like, the campaign so early like King of the Monsters. And I think it was really bad of them to get everyone so hyped, you know, at Comic-Con, granted... It wasn't meant to be leaked, but it was going to get leaked anyway. It's Godzilla vs. Kong. This is a big franchise. A lot of people care about it, even though, you know, the box office didn't show it. There's a lot of people that still care. Because not everyone can afford to go out to the movies all at the same time. Also, the movie came out less than a month after Avengers Endgame, and that left a huge black hole, which sucked down a ton of movies. And a very few kind of crawled out of that, like Aladdin and John Wick 3, Detective Pikachu, and... Kong or uh, Godzilla King of the Monsters kind of just got sucked up into that too. Uh, so Avengers Endgame kind of was a black hole for funds at the time, which is why I think that it didn't get as much money as it originally could have if they had waited maybe another month or so. <clears throat> but I think it was a bad idea to do that because it got everyone hyped. Everyone wants to know more now, and it's going to be months before we see anything else from this movie. Because, uh, of course, it was delayed. I want, like what D-Man 1954 said, we should have gotten a new poster and something else. Like, show off an official image of Kong. Or maybe not even that. Just just a new poster or whatever. Not the same one they've been showing everywhere. 
a new official poster. It could even be like a half face thing that they got with everything, like like you know, half face Godzilla, half face Kong, and you know, something like that. That would have been a perfect tease with the new release date. And I personally, I think is a really stupid idea unless they have a lot of work to do on the movie to release it like next November. That's really dumb to me because it feels like everything is done already. But anyway. That's all I got to say. It went on way longer than I should have. What do y'all think of my theory with the Kong size and all that? It's kind of an off-the-cuff thing. I got to do some reactions. I got to do one of 154 in 1984. Gotta do, got to do Ghostbusters Afterlife because that just came out today. Woo! Uh, and so many other trailer reactions I've been meaning to do. I'm sorry I haven't gotten to them yet. But uh, in other videos I need to work on, I got to finish with Page Master Review. I do address chat and so forth, so many. And I'm also got to do, once I get on Christmas vacation, technically, my company goes on vacation in like two weeks. I will be, uh, let me get my thing, I got to charge this up. Uh, I'll be doing more videos. I'm going to do at least two live streams when I have time. I got to do one with Tyler Olson because we're going to talk about some stuff. A lot of stuff that I've been meaning to talk about. I've just been kind of just di uh, distant a lot i don't like you know there's times where i just really hold on one second, pull this up, sorry. where i uh i'm not really that sociable i'm not really a very sociable person in real life anyway and it's kind of just on video i hate being like that but it's just, that's just me so i kind of feel bad about it but uh and i got another live stream i'm gonna do uh, possibly i'm going to contact Ah, Adrian, Adrian Brown, I'm pretty sure. I can't believe I forgot his name, but he was an ex, or he used to work on Mesozoica, the game. He's an ex-developer or animator. And uh, we're talking about, we were, uh, I was in his, I was uh, watching one of his videos the other day. Really cool dude. He kind of got, he, he got screwed over in that whole situation, by the way. Uh, and he's working on a new game called Pangea. So I asked him if he wanted to do a QA and a or whatever. And uh, he said, yeah, that sounds cool. So we're going to talk about that, talk about animation, maybe talk about, you know, Jurassic, what, you know, just prehistoric stuff in general, because, of course, that's a big uh, leaping point for Pangea and Mesozoica. Uh, even though Mesozoica was a big one I was looking forward to and all that, but unfortunately that didn't pan out well. So we'll talk about all that, and I think it'll be really fun to, really cool uh, to talk about. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos, and uh, let me know what y'all thought of the footage for Kong, or uh, Godzilla vs. King Kong down in the comment section below uh how many subscribers do we have like uh we gotta hit 2,800 subscribers and merry christmas <laughs>